right, so what's poppin' everybody? Welcome back to some more Pokemon Legends of the Arena. If you guys know did hit the thumbs up for the boys, really appreciate it. We actually uh, just got here to, I think we have to fight, uh, what's his name's rival? I forgot his name, I forgot his name. I forgot his name, because there's Bryce, we have to fight Bryce. There's like two people we have to look for. It's like Bryce and some like Sage guy, I'm not sure what's going on. But, the ice girl wants to go get Laura. So Laura's in the mountain over there to the west, and that's cool. But now we have to come in here and fight Bryce. I think this is like the last Shadow Cult encounter, I'm pretty sure. I'm not sure, actually. I have zero idea. This game has been very uh, unpredictable as of late. But if you guys are going to hit the thumbs up for the boys, really appreciate it. If you want to download, it's all in the description section below. I think this game is actually done. I think this was like the last update for this game. So I think this is pretty much just going to be... Like everything that we play for just just for a while. I mean, I I kind of want to like chill out on this one. All right, so you said let's look around for what we gotta look. We gotta look for like some clues, right? Interact with it. There you go. Okay, that was that was quick. Okay, and he just like dipped out and left us. What the fuck? Okay, I don't fuck with none of this. I'm actually really scared. Hold on. Oh man, All right? I'm scared now. I know you're there, Bryce. Come out where I can see you. Echoes in the dark, Gabriel. That's all I've ever been to you. Where are you? Show yourself. Oh, it's time, bro. Lost for words. You, you bastard. I hope Craster and Jeremy weren't too much trouble. Necessary evils, I'm afraid. Too smart to cut loose, too stupid to be useful. That was, damn, that was some crazy shit. You must be Nick. It's a pleasure to meet. No, we're not doing this. We're not playing this game. We didn't come here to talk. We came here to, to, what, kill me? No, I, I don't. There's a lot that needs to be done before the policy, the police gets here. I said policy. What the fuck? The police get here. The police are coming. Yes, fine. It's up to you. It's up to you how you want to proceed. I assume you have questions and I'm prepared to give answers. But in the interest of everyone's attention span, I think I'd rather show you the truth. Follow me if you please. You know, shout out to you for being uh, respectable of all the people. We're not going anywhere with you. Suit yourself. Oh no, damn it. Yeah, look at you, Gabriel, you a bitch. Look at you, look at you, see? Man, looking pussy. Damn, bro, I can't imagine looking like that. What is this? I don't know what this is. Oh, it's just sitting here looking at us, okay. All right. Let's go up in this jam really quick. Oh. Mewtwo. Oh, no. This machine. What is it? Don't stand there. Just give me a minute. Okay. You okay? Yeah. Worried about Laura? Me too. All we have to do, all we have to do is distract him until the police get here. Then this nightmare should be over. Done. I've been working on this machine for a long time. It's finally complete. What is it? It's called a zone simulator. It allows you to generate a detailed recreation of someone's memories. I've used it to capture portions of my life over the past five years. Gabriel, Nick, step inside one of the circles to begin. Why, she can fry our brains and get away? I don't think so. I know you have no reason to trust me right now, but please, I mean you no harm. If you step inside the circle, you will see the truth. And isn't that what all you ever wanted, Gabriel? Nigga, about to get some closure. Please, come. Step into my memories. Alright. I don't know what's about to happen, but... Gabriel about to get some crazy closure. Menji's coming to collect you. You'll be staying hit with him for now. Though sooner or later, you'll expect it to find your own way. And listen, don't get any ideas about sneaking back to the mainland. My ship is the only thing that travels along that route. So as far as I'm concerned, you're here to stay. Good luck. I'll be seeing you. I'm scared as fuck. Hey, Bryce. Why do you bring a ghost to a dragon fight, man? This is like back in the day. This is this is the... uh. Is this the, um, the, like, the beginning of the game is, like, a little tournament segment. Uh, Gabriel defeated, what's his name? Or, no, he, Gabriel got defeated by, I think, the Dragon? The Dragon Knight, I think. Didn't you pay attention to Pokemon School? <laughs> Damn, dog, being a bully. 
His humiliation was greater than anything he'd ever felt. Mocked by those who once cheered for him, abandoned on a desolate land island. I did land as it kind of doesn't matter. He began to realize the true nature of exile was loneliness. Damn, bro. Come. We have much more to see. Okay. I'm... What is this place, Nick? What's going on? Bryce said it was a machine, a simulation of his memories. This must be what happened to him after he went into exile. What's he trying to tell us, I wonder? We should follow him and find out. I mean, no shit, Sherlock. We're stuck in his fucking memories. You can't be this dumb. What the hell going on over here? Whoa, whoa, whoa okay. Um... I don't really know where the hell it's supposed to be going. Not here. Wait, what the fuck? Huh? Okay. All right. Loki kind of scared right now. I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to be doing. Okay. There's like hella shit we're supposed to be missing out on, right? Yeah. No, we can't go that way. Here we are. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. You're Bryce, yes? Okay, follow me. Okay. When I first met Benji, I thought he was a he was a terse, grumpy old man. But over time, I came to respect his fierce intelligence and strong moral convictions. Okay. I'm 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 like in awe. I don't know what's going on. What are you doing? Are you not coming? God, you exiles are all the same. Oh my goodness. I will give you food and shelter, and in return, you will help me around the farm. If you do not want this, then so be it. Goodbye. This is, uh, I do not have much memories from this section of my journey. Let us, let's move on. Okay. Oh, my. Dude, this game is actually really fucking crazy. Okay. It's the ranch. Whoa. So you'll have several responsibilities while staying here. The first will be to accompany me on deliveries to other towns and villages. The second will be to tend to the soil, fertilize it in our crops. And third will involve taking care of our mill tank. Speaking of which, Naruko, come greet our guest. Okay. This is my daughter, Naruko. Say hello, Naruko. Hello. Okay. This is, uh, Bryce. You may stay in our house, but only under one condition. You must give up your Pokemon. I realize you forged a bond with them over your career as a trainer, and it gives me no pleasure to violate the sacred connection. But in the interest of my safety and for the safety of my daughter, they have to go. They're simply too powerful. Wow. Wait, weren't your Pokemon confiscated by the council after your defeat? No. It was the hardest choice I ever made. It felt like a final humiliate, like a final humiliation. But I saw the beautiful fields and beautiful house, the beautiful woman, and I knew there was only one thing I could do. Wow. For four blissful years, I lived with Benji and Naruko. I spent my days helping Benji move. Come on, I was reading that. What the fuck? Come on. I would visit local villages and offer my help. Come on. I, I literally I missed the last two words of that. And I will often patrol the forest looking for... Fuck! It was through this work that I began to realize how foolish I'd been. I thought I was the only person in the world that mattered. That winning was the only thing that mattered. But there was so much more to life. So much more. This nigga had a whole epiphany. Like, it's it's crazy. Is Naruko gonna die? Because if that's what, like, if that's what, like, fucking, um... Would, like, set it off for him, that'd be crazy. Because it felt like he, like, actually, like grew to love her like in a way at night i would sit with naruko and look up at the stars okay i would sit and talk about our, we would sit and talk about our hopes and dreams i wondered if one day i might be able to return home and be a free man still for a long period of time i considered myself happy but it was not to last Hello? 
Hello? Am I supposed to be here? Uh... Am I supposed to be... Where am I at is the question. Like, I don't know where the hell I'm supposed to be going, but I guess this is the right way. Um. Oh, here he is. I heard something rustling in the bushes, so I went outside to investigate. Then he arrived. Who is he? Yo, it's him. Yo, yo, yo. It's the, it's the little sage guy. Adrian. I hadn't seen him in years, but it didn't matter. He he hadn't changed at all. So this is your new home. Hmm. <laughs> Cute. Well, pack your bags. There's a long journey ahead of us. And put on a suit, damn it. You look like a farmer. Wow, we took him away. You still look too much like yourself. You'll have to cut your hair and maybe wear a hat. We'll have time to do that on the journey. Right, let's sort this out. Let's... Garth, give me some gas and... Okay. I thought they were going to kill them, yo. Oh, okay. He had no choice but to leave, dog. Oh, nigga. This is, uh... Once again, I was forced to board a ship, aboard a ship, taking me away from a place I called home. Wait, forced? Who forced you to leave? I had to go with Adrian. I had no choice. Sounds like you had a choice to me. I didn't. He was gonna kill him. You don't know Adrian like I do. He's a dangerous man. I He needed me to rejuvenate interest in the cult again. So he brought me back here no matter what the cause. Did he kill them? Dog, if he killed them, dog? We'd arrived back in Aria within a few weeks. I didn't know what Adrian had planned, but I knew it wouldn't be good. So I began to hatch a plan of my own. Is he gonna, is, what happened? I, I'm, I'm man, this is wild. The code I once knew was gone. I was just a figurehead now. So I decided to bring them down from the inside to stop them before they could cause too much damage. My first task was to alert you, Gabriel, that I was back in the country. Me? Yes. In Flooded Cave, I had a suspicious, or I held a, a suspicious meeting with some lunkhead. I made sure that someone overheard me. That was me! Yeah, okay. I had no idea it was you, really. I mean, I'm a little slow. I can't, I wish, at least you can admit it. You feel me? I did hope you'd alert the council about re I mean, your origins, but I underestimated the cult's reach. I tried again in Salt Spray City. When I knew Adrian was going to meet the investors at the Lapras Lounge. I sought out the city's chief and police and tipped them about the cult. That's when we went to go see him. Okay. You surprised Agent that day and almost caught him. But it still wasn't enough. At, by this point, Agent was growing suspicious of my loyalty. Damn, he had to put that man on an alert, like... I had no idea what he was planning, but I knew he had, he tried something when we all reached Glacier Town, and what he tried to do. So I tipped off the town's mayor, Cecilia, and I told her about the cult's presence. And when you came here, I guided you through the base, so I could tell you everything. I'm gonna barf. So was that true? True. Did all that really happen? Yes, everything. But you're the bad guy. Everyone says so. Would fighting me help? No, I guess not. Why did you spend so much time on this thing instead of just turning yourself in and telling us everything? Gabriel, you never would have believed me. I'm still not sure I do. Finally, did you find her? I see. Why did you make this? Why not just tell us and so us some photos or something. I can't really explain it. This machine is very important to me. I know it's a little pointless, 
that very few people will see it, but working on it gave me a life, gave my life purpose. I don't expect you to understand. Nick, we found Laura. Go now, Nick. I'll see you again soon. Is she okay? I don't know. You should go. I'll stay here and make sure Bryce doesn't escape. This is all confusing. Welcome to the real world. Go. So we gotta go get Laura now. I want y'all to know... So much just happened. Like... There isn't... This entire time, we thought Bryce was, like, the evil guy. Like, dead ass, we thought Bryce was the evil guy. We gotta fight Adrian. That's the final, that's the final boss. We have to fight Adrian. Where the hell is she? She's right, is this, who the fuck? Yo. Instead of standing there, can someone please find me a blanket? Oh, she's, yo, she's cold as fuck. Laura, can you hear me? Laura, I need you to stay here with me. Laura, I need you to stay here with me. Wake up. Somebody pat her, dog. She, she's not good. Dog, if Laura dies, bro, wait a moment. Wait, 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 wait. Please don't. Bro, 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 please don't. She'll be okay. Thank you, thank you, thank God. How long was she out in the cold for? A long time. She needs to re she'll need to rest for a while. She can't do anything strenuous. Which rules her out of the tournament, I suppose. Hmm. Can we help you? Where is she? Over here. She's fine, Ron. How could you let this happen? We tried to save her. Well, you didn't try hard enough, did you? Are you her father? Who is this? Get him out of here. Come on, right? He's just a kid. Nick, come over here. Who is this guy? Are you joking? No. This is President Ronald Moss. He's the um president. So Laura is the president's daughter? You really live in your own little world, don't you? Yes, yes, he is. Oh. Right, at least I can bring her home now. Stop this battling fa fad for good. Gabriel, can't someone fight on her behalf? I mean, technically, yes. There's a clause regarding champions, but I'll do it. You will not. I will. The girl deserves a fighting chance, which is more than you ever gave her. Oh. Ooh, what's going on here? Okay. All right. So... So this entire time, we were under the assumption that Bryce was the evil guy. And he technically still is. Like, he technically still is the evil guy, but he has reasons. You know, he has his reasons. And whether his reasons are good enough for people, then I guess that's subjective. But he did what he, did what he could. He did what he could. And what sucks about that is Adrian is still out there. So we're not done with Adrian. The next time I see that nigga, it's fade on sight for that man. Facts. You feel me? That nigga's gonna die. I'm, I'm, I'm yeah, he's, yeah, he's got to get it. He's gonna get it, dog. He's gonna get it. He's definitely gonna fucking get it. I don't care, bro. It's about that time we sit here and we, this is, man, this, this game, dog. It's just, it's, man, <laughs> there's so much going on but I think now is a really good time to end this off I kind of want to go and I kind of want to train a bit really quick just a little bit just a little bit uh, make sure we can get something done with our guys even like level 65 or so and uh, you know just get as far as we can and whatnot so I think with that being said I'm gonna end this off right here hope you guys enjoyed it come subscribe if you guys did and I'll talk to you guys later in the next one bye I love y'all I've been alone for so long